Hey guys, it's Michelle here from PEI Makeup Artist. And I recently had, I guess, a bit of a haul from MAC and I thought I would show you guys what I got and what my thoughts are on some of the products that I did get. So I'm just gonna dive into, I'm gonna start actually with some of the essentials that I had to get for my kit that are a little boring and then we'll move on to maybe the more exciting stuff. So, I had to buy, stock up on some more false lashes. A, got one, two, three, four, five sets of lashes. And the good old <laughs> makeup kit essential, uh, the back Black Track Fluid Line. If you guys haven't tried this gel eyeliner, I think it is fantastic and it is definitely a must. It's black, just black gel eyeliner. Um, then from the, oh dear, uh, I forget which limited edition line this came from. Maybe Vera or maybe the Cook or bake or shop, I forget. There were so many this last past month that came out that I couldn't keep track of them all. Uh, but basically it is another fluid line and it's called Wholesome. And Wholesome is basically like black track fluid line and dip down mixed together. So it's a blackish brown, which I am so thankful that they came out with because I would used to just mix them on my own and a, a little palette because I, it's nice to have a blackish brown. Like to me, that's a standard. Like, I don't know why that's not part of the permanent range. It looks really, really nice. Um, let's see if I can, I'll just use this here as so a little, you can see that on here. Just put this on the back of my hand. Oh, it's really pretty. It is. It truly is a blackish brown, just what they said it would be. And it's perfect. It will be well used, and hopefully they will make this a permanent product in their line. Um, oh yeah, I needed some more duo adhesive. It's the best lash adhesive, I think. Another um, standard that's a little bit boring is the uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I love these products. I'm not, every time somebody asks me about mineral makeup, I always say I'm not a fan, I don't really like it. However, this is the only one exception I will make to that rule. I love, I don't use this as a standalone product. What I like to do is I like to set my Makeup Forever foundation with this. I just find the two that is just perfect, I love it. So that's one of my, this isn't actually for my kit, this is actually for me personally. The other, some essentials. I got a well-dressed blush, which is a very, very pretty blush. It's just kind of like a pale pink. It's very, very pretty. And another staple for my kit that I got, Jubilee lipstick. Jubilee lipstick is probably one of my favorite uh, pinky nude kind of colors from MAC. And that's kind of it for the boring essentials. And then for some of the fun stuff that I got, I'm throwing boxes all over the place here, so disorganized. Let's see. Um, so I got the Viva Glam lipstick, the Nicki Minaj Viva Glam, Viva Glam Nicki is what it's called, which is a very fun, vivid color. Um, I think they described it as a yellow pink. Yeah, it's a yellow pink. It's really, really nice actually. I think, that's it there. It's beautiful actually. I, I absolutely love it. I haven't worn it myself yet, but I think it's really pretty, pretty, pretty color. It's one of those, you know, it's a, a bright lip, but I like it. 
And the other product that I got is the Sunday Afternoon. And this came out with another one of the collections that was recently launched. I forget which one. I can't keep them all straight. And that's it there, Sunday Afternoon. So it's a blush and it has three different shades. So the big square one here is kind of a very pale pink. The middle is almost like a dusty rose kind of color. That's it there. And that one there, which almost looks like a highlighter. It's so light. So that's the three colors right there. And then if you swirl it together, that's the color there. So it's kind of more definitely more cool tone pinks. I think that silver line there, yeah, you can see it's already starting to come off. So that looks just like an overlay kind of thing. So anyways, I think that's pretty. It'll be, it's always nice to have blushes. I'm a blush kind of girl. I like blushes. And the other fun product that I got is from the Chen Man collection. And it is the Force of Love. I ordered two of these lipsticks, one for myself and one for my kit. And it is a beautiful coral color. It's almost like it's coral pink, not coral orange or coral. That's it there. From the bottom of it. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Actually, I wore that color yesterday and I, I wore it to the Lorax movie, so. I thought, you know what, <laughs> if for any movie you can go with really bright lipstick, I think it would be a Dr. Zeus movie. So yeah, some really beautiful colors that MAC has come out with lately for lipsticks. Uh, the Chen Men Connect collection, I think uh, the Force of Love lipstick sold out quite quickly. They had a second lipstick that was more, I think it was like a lilac kind of color, like a purpley, bluey, pinky kind of color. Um, I just wasn't sure how much I would use that color, so I decided to skip that and just get the Force of Love, and I don't think I regret that decision. Anyways, that's what I got from MAC. Uh, let me know if you guys bought anything from any of the uh, recent limited edition launches. I always love to hear what you guys get and what you're loving and what you're not loving so much. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.